Imagine you put on your glasses or headset and you're instantly in your home space. It has parts of your physical home recreated virtually, it has things that are only possible virtually, and it has an incredibly inspiring view of whatever you find most beautiful. We're going to be introducing a social version of home where you can invite your friends to join you as avatars. You'll be able to hang out, watch videos together, and jump into apps together. Then there is Horizon Worlds, which is where you can build worlds and jump into them with people. There's a ton of new tech going into Cambria. For example, your avatar will be able to make natural eye contact and reflect your facial expressions in real time. And today, I want to show you an experience that we've been working on for Project Nazare, which is the codename for our first full augmented reality glasses. Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. I am so freaked out right now, I cannot explain to you guys. Let's just strap ourselves into our chairs and let's unravel this together, yeah? <laughs> this is a very, very important video, guys, and inshallah, I hope you guys will share it so we can get some discussions about this going because unfortunately, as an ummah, we're very reactive yeah we wait for things to happen when we should be proactive let's look at the tv fast internet mobile phones yeah smartphones the people of knowledge jump on and start going halal haram halal haram but at that stage we're fighting a fire now when it comes to the metaverse we need to be proactive with understanding what it is and preparing ourselves. The next platform and medium will be even more immersive, an embodied internet where you're in the experience, not just looking at it. And we call this the metaverse. Technology is the talk of our era. I know some of you people are saying, talk, what on earth is that? We don't do that anymore. For you guys, think of talking as a voice message, yeah, a, a DM. Or an emoji and it's gone to such a degree that there are credible philosophical debates about whether AI or ASI can be considered as alive or conscious or equal to that of a human being. But a little look at the Chinese room experiment and we can somewhat put that to rest. So guys the line between real and artificial is becoming more and more blurred. A world built on fantasy, synthetic in the form of pills, psychological warfare in the form of advertising, mind-altering chemicals in the form of food, brainwashing seminars in the form of media, Control. isolated bubbles in the form of social networks. And the progress that virtual reality is now making is gonna be much more faster now that Facebook has given it its full backing. We know what it did for social media, yeah? Facebook owns Instagram, WhatsApp, and Messenger, yeah? And not to mention Hollywood, which is in full flow, glamorizing this whole virtual reality world to us. I'm sure some of you are probably familiar with Ready Player One, about a kid that puts on this virtual reality thing, the suit and everything, and he can experience the game. Oh my God. Who wouldn't want to do that right? Then very recently the movie that you've probably seen around on buses and stuff called Free Guy where it talks about a computer character which is pretty much alive yeah it's artificial intelligence it's alive and other people that go into the game and stuff like that and of course in December the release of Matrix which is literally about being plugged into an artificial world. But that is like way more deep, yeah? Because where do you draw the line between what's real and what's artificial, yeah? <laughs> and not leaving the kids out, yeah? The kids are not immune from this. Movies like Jumanji. <laughs> and Space Jam. What in the Matrix hell? <laughs> and others also talk about a virtual reality world that you go into. So, like I said, the whole point of this video is to highlight some of the potential problems and posit 
some solutions and you guys need to be more vocal by spreading such videos and if you've got study circles and if you're an imam let's start talking about this let's start getting people thinking about this so we can prepare number one immersing our senses literally where you feel like you're in a place will make reality seem more boring it will make us feel less connected with the real world where you actually have responsibilities and there's like steps you need to take in order to achieve something where you can just go into a virtual reality world if you've got a broken relationship no problem you can just uh, make a message or comment or complete a task and boom you've got people whilst in the real world you've got these oppressive laws and you know confusion going on people might want to escape to this virtual utopia as it were you know they say the real life is not perfect but hey what if a world is perfect to you you've designed it somewhat we're already doing that in minecraft that would mean that the artificial world will take over in terms of important to us yeah and this is the reason why i think one of the scholars says it's the reason why people are afraid of dying because they're going from a world that they built to a world that they haven't the hereafter and we have an example of it here imagine you're in a virtual reality world a world that you've built and then the real world filled with broken hearts broken relationships you know people identifying as trees and god knows what so again there's that disjunct number two we know that people escape from reality by switching on the netflix drugs music movies you name it but with virtual reality that escape becomes more powerful and you think people are addicted to games now imagine when you are in the game number three we know pornography and these relationships people have by paying the opposite gender through cam girl whatever experience that will now become more immersive so people that are addicted to instant gratification from watching illicit material imagine now like being able to feel it having the perfect woman or the perfect man yeah but we realize from pornography addicts that no matter if you are with these perfect uh, people in these videos that still doesn't do it for you because it's unnatural they still cannot give you the full relationship experience and number four people hate keyboard warriors and haters yeah it's enough to pull anyone down and you know what i'm saying no one is excluded from that but imagine now that you are face to face there's a more intense experience from these keyboard warriors and haters <sighs> now i know you guys are probably like flipping heck mate oh my god what's gonna happen <laughs> do what is in your power we don't know when the jail is coming we can't just take a seat back and think you know what let's just let everything unfold no if a building is burning even if you can rescue five six people and there's a hundred in there five six people do what is in your power yeah so let's talk solutions number one i cannot emphasize this enough the responsibility now and the importance of learning your religion is more important than ever yeah people need guidance they need direction and we hold the key yeah please whatever is in your capacity let's just say there's online courses no problem join these online courses enroll learn about your religion number two have physical hobbies that's right tennis football basketball whatever get physical the physical cannot replace the artificial and of course when you get older and things go wrong it might be more difficult for you but please do not instill into your kids that the virtual is more better than the natural if your kid wants to join a football club or basketball club drive drive the extra half an hour yeah get them there even if it means sitting there bored you're investing in your children that is worship that is ibadah <laughs> number three increase that love for nature yeah learning survival skills and again i'm talking about the emirs the leaders of the family have outings lake district here in the uk or if you're abroad wherever take them to the countryside or wherever get your kids and yourselves familiar with the elements number four 
keep good relationships with your friends. Yes, that's right. Real life experiences are so, so important. Yeah, having social skills, it will help you, of course, uh, get married, a very important part of our lives. Getting married, it helps you get a job, it helps you. Yeah, people that are, you know, have friends around them or that communicate with people have longer, better quality lives. There's so much studies that verify this. And of course, you don't want it to be a self fulfilling prophecy where you feel happy virtually and then you go out there and because you're not putting that much effort you it further reinforces this idea that you know what I'm better off in the virtual reality than I am here nobody likes me here that's because you're not really giving it that much effort mate and number five having something in your life that gives you satisfaction and for a believer that will not come from anything else other than dawah helping other people get closer to Allah bringing them closer to Allah, learning your religion actively. Some of you are involved in charities, some of you are involved in projects and softwares, whatever. As long as Islam is there and you're doing it for the sake of Allah and it's to propagate the religion, you'll feel better. Yeah, You'll feel better because we all know we're going to die one day. So feeling that you're doing something that's helping your hereafter makes you feel that you are useful. Boy, we're not... <laughs> We're not in an easy era, that's all I can say. Please let me know in the comments what you guys think. Share this video. Let's get some discussion going about this. And let's leave it there until next time. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum.